Muchas gracias, misionero Miguel. Thank you so much. The missionary Miguel Bermudez Marin, may God continue to bless you greatly. In this year 2021, to use you powerfully in favor of all the ministers and in favor of the entire church of the Lord. Uh, in this afternoon, we have this topic um, laying aside the weight of sin. It was preached on Friday, 9th July 1999, in Chiclayo, Peru. Uh, he used the best scripture as. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 to 2 and he tells us Dr. William Soto Santiago uh, in this message the battle on one occasion an Indian who had converted through uh, converted in the ministry of brother Branham came and was speaking with brother Branham and he, he told him that he had a, a fight a battle inside him and he explained to him you know, in a symbolic way, he said that there was a battle of two dogs in him. And he said that one was white and another one was black. And he said that those two dogs in him were fighting, they were, they were battling, they were fighting. And so Brother Branham asked him, so how was the battle? How was it going? Which of the two was winning the battle? Then it appears the Indian told him that, well, it all depends uh, on which part I, I side with. If he sides with the white dog, then the battle would be in favor of the white dog. But if, uh, if he's on the side of the white dog, the, the battle is in favor of the white dog. But if he's on the side of the black dog, then the battle would be in favor of the black dog. The black dog, you know, uh, by that, the Indian meant that the black dog was the devil and the white dog was the Lord. It was God. And so uh, this Indian or this Indian chief felt that fight, that battle, just like we also feel it. But let's be uh, on the side of the white dog, the side of our God and his word, and always with an amen to what God says in his word, and with a no, a, 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 an absolute no against the, the, the things which the devil wants us to believe, or which we, he wants us to accept, or which he wants us to do. And even if you feel that the battle is very hard, and you think that you are going to lose that battle in your life, always continue forward, always onwards, and always be on the side of the word of God, and even even if you make some mistakes, some errors, never you in your life accept those things to be yours. Even if sometimes you fall into some shortcomings, some mistakes, some errors, uh, recognize that it is because uh, we are still in these earthly bodies. And since we are in these earthly bodies, that is why the devil can put you, uh, make you to fall in, in, in faults, in errors, and that is the weak part that remains for every child of God here on earth. So therefore, it doesn't matter how many times you fall into mistakes. Repent of them. And here, in the message, When Faith is Anointed, preached by Dr. William Soto Santiago, uh, he tells us in this little part, in this extract, um, I'm not going to read it full because you have it there in the Bible study. It says on page on page 3 at the end, in the last two paragraphs, and we continue on page 4, it says, Now we see that when God was among the people of Israel through Moses, and he was using Moses for the benefit of the people, well, there was no attraction on their part because like all the other people, like all the other nations, well, we find that they had their their bad side, see? And the devil, well, he, he was the one who was, who would bring, who was trying to, to discourage the people, to bring to, on their bad side, to bring the bad things that the, that the people had. But God says that he looked upon them from the rock and saw no faults in them, see? Therefore, if God looked upon them from the rock, from the top of the mountain, well, God found no fault in them. So that is why God has a way to fix all the bad sides of us. He, he had it back then in that time, and he also has it today. 
But when God looks upon his people, he sees them upon the top of the mountain. Whoever begins to, uh, to criticize, to, to criticize because of the, sh- of the shortcomings which children of God have, anyone who does that brings a tremendous problem to himself. Because whoever blesses you will be blessed, and whoever curses you will be cursed. So instead, we fix our own shortcomings, our own mistakes and errors, among ourselves according to the plan and the order that God has given us to fix all that, see? And each one of us should, as a faithful brother, one with another, even if we know each other's mistakes and shortcomings, we leave them alone and we don't disclose them to the public, to the world, so that no one from the outside has a right to point out the shortcomings of their brethren. So anyone who discloses them, who, who, whoever discloses them, he, has a, he brings a tremendous problem to, him, to, to themselves. To disclose those things uh, from among us here, if we know them well, that, uh, that is more like a matter between the brethren, because we ourselves know that we have our shortcomings, and that we can't, like people say, we can't cover up the truth. I have, I have shortcomings, you have them, we all have them, but but we commit uh, one another to the Lord. We know that even with our shortcomings, despite all that, we know that we are the people of the Lord. And didn't he choose us? Isn't, isn't he the one who chose us? Didn't he know that we had shortcomings? Well, of course he knew it. But despite all that, he said, these are my children. And since we are in the age of the cornerstone, which is the age of love, Love will cover the multitude of sins. Love covers multitude of sins. So then, even if we know each other, even if we know each other's shortcomings, each other's faults, that's not a reason to criticize each other. Because when you point out uh, to, to your brother, to, the, to, your, eye, to your brother's eye, uh, then you have a, a beam, like, uh, like a wood in your eye. So here, well, none of us is going to cast stones at each other because everyone, uh, it is, everyone almost has shortcomings. But each one of us hope that the Lord will fix everything to have mercy upon us, uh, and that is, and that they are not recorded before God. But instead, uh, it is cast into the sea of forgetfulness. Therefore, what we do is to help each other. No one here makes himself to be holier than others. Here, the only thing we can do is to proclaim. Uh, the only thing we can do and to proclaim is that the only thing we can say is that God, may you have mercy upon us, because every person, whether they bigger or smaller, uh, all we deserved was hell. But by God's own choice, well, the lines have fallen in the present places, and we have the great heritage, because He has had mercy upon us, and He has had mercy upon all of us. And if that isn't something great, then I don't know what would be great for us. May God help us in this year, 2021, and may we all be prepared to receive our transformation. Let's be on our feet and live immediately with this topic, laying aside the weight of sin. Our beloved brother and friend, the prophet messenger of the dispensation of the kingdom, the age of the cornerstone, the Dr. William Soto Santiago.